Hi, I'm Andrew Simpson with Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Zoho CRM so that you can work with general classroom structures. So let's walk through a use case here. Let's imagine you have a um, business and that business is to teach people about lean manufacturing. If you don't know what lean manufacturing is, shoot me an email, right? But your business is to teach, teach lean manufacturing. And you do this by running a classroom. So you have a classroom and you'll have, you know, three tiers of courses. So there'll be the, 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 the white belts of lean manufacturing, the green belts of lean manufacturing and the black belt of lean manufacturing. You have these three courses that you offer and then you teach these courses in a classroom. If, since this is, is post COVID, this might be a Zoom call, whatever but you'll teach this to a number of people at the same time. So the question is, how do you structure that inside Zoho CRM? So you can do your basic, you know, um, course dates, it's for this class, these students are in this class, you know, here are their grades kind of thing. So I'm gonna start out by sharing my screen. Hopefully it's the correct screen, otherwise this will be a short call. Great. So now that you can see my screen, hopefully you can see my screen. I'm going to uh, just kind of outline, I'm in my Zoho CRM. Now I have a lot of like uh, modules. Again, this is, this is the, uh, the test one that we use. We use a real CRM account for, for our testing. Um, just so that the difference between an actual user and our, our testing one is identical. Um, so we have this test one here and I have a bunch of things at the top, you know, we have this potential tenants we ran a test on contacts accounts. But let's start out, we want to make some assumptions right. Me as a business owner who's selling lean manufacturing courses, I will have a few things that I know should be there. Let's start out. We know, we know there should be a classroom. Classrooms. And the single form is a classroom, right? So we know that I have a classroom, all right? So let's start with this and uh, let's click save. And because I wanna do it, let's, um, great. So now everyone has access to the classroom. Now in another tab, because I'm lazy, I'm going to go and make another, another module. Uh, and the module that we know, um, I could do it as a course. I can create a, a course module or I could create it as a product module. So if I go to my products, right? I got a bunch of stuff in here. You know, here's, here's Shen, here's warranty, here's design. Somewhere down at the bottom, I have my cat carriers, right? Man, I got a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. We're doing a lot of testing. Um, so I've got my, my cat carriers down here. Now, if I also sold products, I, I might not want to use this module. Um, you know, I can sell my lean manufacturing courses, but I also have mugs and cat carriers that I sell. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to create another module. But you could, if this is all you sold, you could just use the product module. We're going to call this the courses module. Course in the singular form is course. Done. Cool. Save and close. And let's give this to everyone as well. Save. And now what I'm going to do is the classroom, a class will teach a certain course, right? So if I'm in a classroom with 20 people, that class teaches a certain course. So I'm going to bring in a lookup. And we're going to call this course. Uh, I don't know how to spell taught. So it's just course. And then let's click courses. And the related list is. Uh, classrooms and it will be required. So there is no classroom without a course. So let's click done and let's click save. Great, now this is hunky dory. If I go to the classroom module and I create a classroom, there are no courses. So let's go lean manufacturing course white belt. Manufacturing, save and associate, right? And let's call this the um, 
special course, right? And let's click save. So now I have my course. And if I go to this, uh, if I, my, I now I have my classroom. And if I go to the course, you'll see, hey, these are all my classrooms, right? Now, this is kind of helpful. But if I go back, what you'll know is that most classrooms have a date. So let's go and let's add a new section, right? New section. Uh, we're going to call this date info. And let's put in a date. And we'll say starts date and end date. Right? Most courses or most classrooms have a start date and end date if it's multiple days. So let's go ahead and save this. So now my special course, if I refresh, it'll have a start and end date. And I'm 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 doing this lean manufacturing course for white belt. So let's say the start date is today. If you're hearing about this in the future, congratulations. And the end date is tomorrow. Now, this is great. Now I've got my class, right? And I can have many, many different classrooms as I want for this one particular course. And I can have more courses. But we're running into a problem now is I don't know the students in the class. Now, I have a contact module. If you see in here, I've got all these uh, test people as well as uh, Will Smith. Uh, yeah, I've got Will Smith in here. So let's go ahead and add some people to my class. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click a multi-select lookup. And we're going to call this students. And the module is going to be contacts. So you may have seen a cut. And actually, I think this cut is a really good idea um, of what happened. So I'm going to refresh. I'm just going to show you something. In my classroom page, or in my classroom module, I'm going to drag in the multi-select lookup. And I, for whatever reason, oh, I can now. So I can select contacts here. And this would be a safe bet. Um, and, OK, so let's call this one. This is called students, right? Contact, and then the field label in the related module. So in the related module, we're going to call this um, class rooms. Enter linking module name is called students. So what this means is we're going to relate a classroom to a contact, and that link in some way is called a student, right? Now, if this is confusing, I understand. We're going to go into what this looks like um, and what this means. So let's just click Done, and let's click Save. So now if I go into a contact and I refresh, right, you'll see that there is classrooms. I can add this person, Will Smith, to a classroom. And we have one classroom, which is our special, our special course, right? And let's click Confirm. Now, if I go to this special course, you'll see that they're linked. Boom. So this contact is in the special course, right? So I promised I would, I would try and explain what this is. This is a multi-select lookup. And we're going to go to the, to the students. So all the students, I can open up the students. And so the students, it will relate to a class to a student. So we could have another class. Um, and Will Smith could be in that other class, as well as this one. If, for whatever reason, the multi-select isn't working for you, right? Um, you, you, either you don't understand it or you know Zoho isn't letting you do it. You can create a module that has two lookup fields, right? And as long as you have those two lookup fields, one for your, your contacts and one for your classroom, the effect is the same, right? Because you can create as many of those as you want uh, because it will link a, you know, any number of classrooms to any number of students. So this is effectively the structure you want to use, right? So I have my contacts, I have my classroom, right? And then I have my courses. And so I can then create multiple courses. Let's go um, clean menu factoring green belt and spelling counts. And then lean manufacturing black belt, save. And so now I have these three courses. And so let's say at any point I want to offer a new class, right? Um, you know, it's a number of days away. Let's go classroom, let's go 
traveling to the Netherlands class. And I'll select a course. And this is the uh, green belt, right? Lean manufacturing green belt. And then I don't know the students yet. Um, so I'm going to just click save. Oh, actually, the start date, uh, let's say it's next month. Um, it ends there. Let's click save. So now I've got this um, this uh, this class with a course in it. And someone calls me, they sign up. I can then assign them to this course. Yes, Will Smith. Yes, test account. And of course, James Venner. Yes, you can join my classroom. Let's confirm. And now all these contacts are in this class for this particular course, right? Um, and I can go to any one of these students. Let's go to Will Smith because this is the one we used previously. And I can go down to the classrooms and see that they're going to the special course and actually the traveling to the Netherlands class. And then within here, I can say, give me the start date and the end date. And then boom, we know this is the start date, this is the end date. I can talk to Will Smith and tell him all about this class we're doing. I hope this was helpful and that you can now implement a classroom structure inside your Zoho CRM. Hope to see you in the next video.